but I don't care. I'm just gonna do it with the NPCs. They haven't failed us yet, and hopefully they still <laughs> don't. What is up everyone, Munching Orange here, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Last episode, we made it through the vast wild area on the way here to Hammerlock, which we're standing outside the gates to, because the other three gym leaders that we took down said, this is where the next gym awaits us. But I'm not quite so sure about that. I feel like it's all just a detour, or actually just a road bump on the way to the next gym, because there's a giant dragon outside of the city, and I'm pretty sure the Dragon Gym is not going to be the fourth one. So, aha! A Gym Challenger! Allow me to check your Gym Badges. The Grass Badge, the Water Badge, and the Fire Badge. These are the ingredients needed to create the perfect Pokemon Trainer. And now it's confirmed that you've defeated three Gym Leaders, including the leader of Motostoke. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. So yeah, after beating the first three gym leaders, we can finally head on into this city. I would say the most major city of Galar. Not the first one, because of course Motostoke was pretty major, but I feel like this one, because it's right in the center, might be even more important. But of course, we've got our favorite granny-haired rival, Bead. Oh, it's you. I doubt Hop will be coming. It's only natural. What, your hair? After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way he could look the champion in the eye. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. What did you do to Hop? Here, just look at the gym badges I've already won. This man's at the same pace as we are, right? I can confirm you have the required badges, Challenger Bead. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. Okay, Mr. High and Mighty. What did you do to Hop, though? I predicted that he was going to be devastated because... Hop, of course, being as cocky as he is, uh, apparently took on Bead in a rival battle because he saw me beat Bead, so he's like, oh, I can probably do it too, but it's Hop. Like, come on, we know that he got his butt kicked, and now his spirit is going to be crushed. Poor guy. We can't just stand around worrying about him, though, so let's head inside the dragon's mouth and make it to Hammerlock. Already, I'm loving the music. But of course, the game had to switch it up on us immediately. Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, Bead. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the Chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you. Right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me. It's for the future of the whole Galar region. And we'll need more than just wishing stars. We need a powerful Pokemon trainer too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion endorsed trainers, just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's the spirit. It takes healthy competition to really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger Bead, there's something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? Whoa, where's Scarlet Witch taking him? Oh, I guess I was there the whole time. Sneaky sneaky. Hope you were listening, Orange. As you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that are even attached to your Dynamax bands. There's more to wishing stars than just making your Pokemon into giants, though. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Gala region gets its energy. Oh, so that's the stadium back there. I thought that this giant castle before the games came out, or I guess during the trailers and pre-release stuff, uh, I really thought this was going to be like the evil team's castle, like there was going to be another team aside from Team Yell, but apparently it's just the uh, stadium, and there was a nugget hidden back there, but of course, my hidden item senses tingled, so you know I wasn't about to miss it, but... Let's step inside Hammerlock Castle, which is apparently Hammerlock Stadium. And the rugs here remind me of Persona for some reason. Persona 5, the castles in that game. Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now, have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. Is it 
the Rose Pad Pro? Our lives and society require various types of energy sources, such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. But how much power are we talking, Rose? Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Oleana decides to give me another earful. Orange, I suggest you head over to the vault next. Just head toward Route 6 from the stadium, and you should find the vault without any issues. Okay then. That confirms it. Uh, the Dragon Gym is definitely not the next one. Mr. Rose is wonderful, so gentlemanly. What's going on here though? There's a lift, but it seems he can't use it right now. But we got my favorite character! I mean, the best character in the game, Ball Guy! Looks like you've managed to level up your team quite a bit. Well, guess what? I've got the perfect Pokeball to celebrate the occasion. What's it gonna be? The level ball, of course, because we leveled up. A level ball is perfect for high level teams. The higher your Pokemon's level is compared to the opposing wild Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch it. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? All right, I'm not that hype ball guy. You're not dancing, so, you know, I'm, I'm not really feeling the vibe. Welcome to the uniform shop. Oh, I did not know that's what this was gonna be. Don't really need that right now, lady. Oh, this is a Pokemart, isn't it? Yep. Alright, well, I think we're good on that right now. What was that the chairman here for business, I guess? Probably. Oh, we got two little Timmies. Oh, Liana can be a little too scary sometimes. Why is he laughing then? Okay, I guess he's done. You need to gather seven gym badges if you want to face the dragon type user, Rayhan. Is it Rayhan or Raihan? I think it might be Raihan, because Ray would be with a Y. But then again, this isn't really traditional English, I guess. It's Pokemon. And sometimes things are just pronounced the most random way, so I'm gonna go with Raihan though. I gotta stick with one of the two, you know, I can't just keep flip-flopping. But, how are things? Uh, pretty good, I would say. I'm liking the vibe of the city here, this music is awesome. Even though it got interrupted earlier, this time around we get to listen to it for a little bit longer. Uh, apparently this little kid can check our Pokemon's happiness. Okay, well, why don't we check out Artorius, our newly evolved Sir Fetched. Let's see. Seems like you're pretty good friends. Still, I bet you could become even closer. Yeah, well, we haven't had him too long, but we did evolve him at the very end of the last episode. Got pretty lucky, I gotta say, but wait, what is this lady checking? It said effort, so this might actually be your EVs? Uh, let's go for Mojo then. That Pokemon. Yeah, looks like it can still give a bit more. Oh, so she'll only tell you if your EVs are maxed out or something? You and your Pokemon have the potential to become great friends. If you have your Pokemon hold this item, your friendship may grow even stronger. And we're gonna get the Soothe Bell, which does raise a Pokemon's happiness. Yep, that's right. I bet her Choodle is pretty happy then, huh? All right, well, let's explore the rest of Hammerlock because I'm pretty sure there's a new boutique to check out here. And you guys know I love me some fashion shopping, uh, but apparently there's a whole bunch of houses too. Although, the houses in this game have not really gave us any items yet. Actually, as I say that, we just got the Soothe Bell from a house, so... Uh, what is this lady? I've got nothing to do with the flying taxis. Oh, I thought she was actually raising Rookie Ds. But it's just because she loves them so much. Not for the taxi services. Okay. Well, that's cool. I mean, you can have an obsession with just one specific Pokemon. Like a certain person I know who might have an obsession with Espers. Hello there, young man. Are you interested in weather? Uh, sure. Is that so? Well then, let me get started. If the sunlight is harsh during a battle, fire type moves. Okay, never mind. Um, I know what weather effects do in Pokemon battles. I didn't know that's what he meant. But wait, he's actually going to give us something for it. The heat rock. Probably also the damp rock, right? Or no, maybe he only cares about sunny weather. Actually, he did say, uh, come again another day. And he'll probably tell us about a different kind of weather. Maybe give us a damp rock at that point. But that old gent in the Pokemon Center is quite the jack of all trades, don't you think? He can make Pokemon forget moves or even have them remember ones they've forgotten. Oh, that guy. For some reason, I thought he was talking about someone else. Because I'm pretty sure there is a special person in the Pokemon Center here in Hammerlock. But uh, it's definitely fitting that Raihan's the guardian of the vault. As I said, I was going to stick to Raihan. I already said Rayhan once, so maybe I should stick to Rayhan instead. You should really visit Winden sometime. People from all over the world gather there. Well, we'll get there eventually, dude. Don't rush. 
the process, you know? Oh boy, what? Can't you say we're practicing our cheers here? M-A-R-N-E! That's how you spell victory! Alright, we won't bother the yell grunts. I always have an urge to say skull grunts. I don't know why. I mean, they're definitely similar. Not super similar, but whoa! This train station is a lot bigger than the usual ones. And it looks like we've got some special stands too. Or not, this is just the regular Pokemart. But what's going on here? This job requires you to be alert. You need to dodge PDF droppings. What? What is that sign right there? I thought it was like a no guns sign, but it's probably a no Pokemon sign. I'm gonna zoom in. Maybe you guys can tell what it is because I really can't right now. But, uh, oh, there's actually vending machines too. And these are definitely better alternatives or I guess more cost efficient alternatives to potions. Uh, but the annoying thing is, you've got to buy them one at a time, I'm pretty sure. Unless it gave us an option. No, buy something else, so... Whatever, we'll do one more, and probably get out of here, because... Yeah, it's kind of annoying buying one at a time, so... As much as I would love to stock up on a million lemonades, ain't nobody got time for that, so... Let's head on up to the upper level of Hammerlock now. Uh, even though I think the vault is actually in the other opposite direction, but over here, we're going to find a Strawberry Sweet, which is actually an item that can be used to evolve Milsery. It says it right here. Uh, when Milsery holds this, it will spin around happily. And that's actually a clue as to how you can evolve that Pokemon. But I've heard that Pokemon in the wild area hide all sorts of things in their dens. There are apparently even odd Pokemon that collect TRs. Yeah, I think we figured that out. Ooh, a Sparkly. Rare Candy. Nice. Can't enter this here, though. Definitely giving me some Hogwarts vibes out here. Huh, hello there. You look like someone I might trust. You see, there's someone I fancy and I, I... I wrote him a love letter. Do you think you might deliver it for me? Uh, sure. Thank you, thank you. I'm so glad I found someone like you to help me. My name is Paula. Here you are. This is the letter I want you to deliver. Okay, I cannot keep doing Paula's voice if it's gonna be like that, but she gives us the old letter. Uh, which is entrusted to us to be delivered to a boy. Strangely, it looks old to you. Deliver it to Frank for me, won't you? Frank in Ballonly. That's who you want. Ballonly. Must be a town we haven't visited yet, because I have never heard of it. But we find a pair of wise glasses, which will slightly boost the power of special moves. Ooh, I thought it was the black glasses, which I think boost the power of dark type moves, but different kind of glasses. I don't know if that's been an item before. I feel like it has been, but I really don't remember. Either way, I guess that's everything over on that side of Hammerlock. So let's head on to the left side. The east, right? No, west. Oh, geez. I really don't know my directions when it comes to east and west most of the time, but it's sad. Like, I literally have to think of California, and then I'm like, oh, obviously, west coast. Yeah, to the left is west. It should be easier for me to remember that, but for some reason, it's not. What's up with you, dog? Hiya! They call me Mr. Focus! I'm so focused and super strong. Are you up for a challenge? Uh, yes. You have a good focus. See the power of Mr. Focus! Whoa! I didn't expect we were gonna have to battle him, but Black Belt Brian is out here! Look at that chest hair, dude. It's like someone literally just took a brush on MS Paint and scribbled all over his chest. <laughs> anyway, uh, looks like he's got a cottony. Wait a minute. This thing is level 2. Oh, he's got a Focus Sash on it. Is that the gimmick here? Alright, well, in that case, let's just go for our Fury Cutter. And it's probably gonna use Endeavor or something, isn't it? Oh my gosh, is it a Fear Cottony? Oh, there it is, the Endeavor! And that is gonna leave us exactly at one health. But I'm pretty sure it's fine because we're faster, so... I'm not sure what this guy's strategy was. He didn't have the full Fear strategy. If you guys have never heard of it, uh, FEAR is an acronym that stands for Focus Sash, Endeavor, Quick Attack, and then I forgot what the R is. Oh yeah, Rattata? Well, usually it's FEAR Rattata, but I guess in this case it's Feek, because it's cottony, but he didn't have Quick Attack, and now he's <laughs> so sad. What is that face, dude? Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for you, Brian. Uh, do you want, like, a hug or something, dude? Well, you a bit surprised. There are so many ways to battle, right? I'll pass this Focus Sash on to you because you were so focused. Okay, just don't cry, my guy. That was not a pretty sight. 
Study the combination of your Pokemon, moves and items, and direct your focus towards battle. Hiya! Somehow it took me that long to realize he was saying Hiya and not Hiya. But speaking of, Hiya Leon, seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. It's been a while since we saw this guy actually. But Hop, did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm so sorry, Lee. It might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, and I have no idea what it was for. Uh, is it for disappointing? Embarrassing himself against Bead maybe? He's feeling down because he's had some hard losses in battle. Yeah, I think so. At least I've got you to keep an eye on him. You will look out for Hop, won't you? As his rival? Blast! And look at the time! Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That Oleana really lets me hear it when I'm late. Now, if only I could remember which way to go. Anyway, I'd say that you should go and say hello to Ray Han while you're here, Orange. He's the greatest rival I've got, and the final hurdle you'll have to face in the gym challenge. He should still be around the vault, if you hurry. It's down that way, on the way to Route 6. Alright, don't get lost, Mr. Champ. He seems to be great at Pokemon battles, but not so great with directions. She keeps going on about art, but really all that matters is whether you like what you see or not. Um, I always talk to the wrong person on the first try. I saw the ruins at Stoan side, but I don't really get art sometimes. Well, you don't have to get it. It's all about each individual's interpretation, right? These clothes I'm wearing, they were given to me back when I was a student. They're made from durable Pokemon silk, so I believe they'll last me a good while yet. Well, speaking of clothes, are you kidding me? Get out my way, dude! Thank you! We need to go check out this boutique, because we've got some new clothes. And apparently a Curlia. Oh my... See what I mean? I always talk to the wrong NPC. I look good in just about anything, so I have Curlia pick out my clothes for me. Well, isn't that lucky? For you. Anyway, we got uh, the faded sweatshirts up in here. Ooh, actually that looks pretty nice. Not quite as nice as the orange shirt we've got already, uh, but it makes sense because it's faded. I don't know, it's got a nice tone to it, but <laughs> the Cramorant shirt, gullet glam, dude. I love it. Uh, what about these though? Eternal Sleep and Mischief Maker. Oh, it's Impy Dimp. I was like, what is that actually? But yeah, it's definitely Impy Dimp. Uh, looks like we got some tracksuits. Those look pretty nice too. Whoa, okay, these are hot. The Zippered Parka, Lovely Nightmare, uh, Berry Forest, and Cute Clobbering. They actually kind of remind me of the Pokemon shirts that... I don't think it's actually Pokemon that makes them, but there's like this um, company that makes Pokemon shirts, like button-up shirts inspired by Pokemon, but they don't really scream Pokemon, if that makes sense. Uh, looks like we also have the other colors of Sport Travel Bag, including the one that actually matches our shoes, so you know I'm about to pick that one up. Even though it's not really the best to always be completely matching, it can look kind of corny, or tacky I guess is a better word, and I'm already kind of not liking it to be honest, because uh, yeah, we're matching a little bit too much, but yo, we got the Alola hat, okay, the bucket hat, I'm liking it actually. For some reason, I never liked this hat in Alola, but now on this trainer, I'm kind of digging it. Um, I kind of like the normal one though. Let's grab it. Why not? And I'll throw that on right now. Uh, finally, we got some new style of sunglasses. Ooh, the round eyeglasses. Yo, these are actually kind of styling. If they had clear frames on them though, I would definitely get some, but doesn't look like it. So yeah, we won't get any for now. I don't know. I feel like our backpack is like too matching. So is there like a dark one? No, there's normal type though. I guess we'll grab that one. It doesn't look too bad. I kind of like the red one too. It matches with that bucket hat that we got. The fire type sports bag. So you know what? I'm going to grab it, but not put it on right now. And yeah, we'll, we'll rock with this style for now. All right, that's enough shopping. Although I saw a fashionista in the corner there. Hold up. One pair of sunglasses can change your whole look, right? So of course I'm going to take my time picking the perfect pair, right? Uh, Yeah, you do you, brother. I really like his style though, like the jacket and the shoes. I hope that we can buy those at some point by the end of the game. Not too many gym challengers make it all the way to Raihan. I really wish we could see more matches with him and his Pokemon. Well, you can count on us to make it, that's for sure, as we've got the edgy store here. Or should I say the edgy cafe? Oh, does this guy want a battle? Well, I mean, it is the battle cafe. If you win, we'll give you a treat on the house. Yes, let's do it. And I believe sometimes this guy can actually give you other sweets that will also 
allow you to evolve Milseri into different types of Alcremi. And speaking of, there's actually one of the Alcremis right there. Unfortunately, uh, these are both fairy types and... Oh jeez, my team is pretty beat up right now, huh? But you know me, always forgetting to go to the Pokemon Center for some reason, so... We'll just go ahead and hone claws right now. Actually, that's not great because Power Trip is not going to do much on fairy types. Uh, but I guess it still gives us attack, so Pluck can do more damage, but... Yeah, I was about to say, the Alcremie that he's got there uh, looks like a different style of it. Like, it's a pink one, as opposed to the regular frothy, creamy, yellowish version. Oh gosh, Slurpuff. That freaking hurt, dude. And I forgot that we actually gave our Flash here Volt Switch, so... This is not great right now. I'm pretty sure that Alcremie also used Attract on us. So I hope it only works on Alcremie and not on Slurpuff too, because otherwise, I don't know how we're going to win this battle. I've only just realized that he's at level 30 freaking 7, dude. How are we going to win this right now? Oh, jeez. All right, Sent to Scorch. You still don't have a nickname. I need to go do that at the Pokemon Center, actually. But looks like we still had a tract, but it didn't end up working. So that's fine. Alcremie's going to go for the round. Oh, but Slurpuff is going for it too. Oh, jeez. I'm pretty sure that attack does more damage the more times you use it in a row. And because they both used it, you know, one after the other, it might have done more damage to us as well. Uh, but... Oh, it does work that way. That's so annoying. What? Okay, maybe I should be attacking Alcremie instead of Slurpuff. Are we actually about to black out on this battle? That would be so sad. As Robin goes down and, well, Sent Scorch, Sent Scorch, geez, that's not the easiest name to say, but he's still in love right now, which sucks because we barely have any female Pokemon. Actually, Charlie is the only one right now. I mean, we could add Hatina to the party, like I mentioned in the previous episode, uh, the little psychic hat, and that would probably give us a little bit more variety, more uh, female Pokemon on the team. And then maybe the attract wouldn't be as big of an issue. But I don't know which Pokemon to replace it with. And of course, Alcremie has Magical Leaf. Oh my goodness. This battle is not going to end well, is it? Oh, this is not good. Not good at all, my friends. Um, If we just go for the double attack right now, we can at least take out Slurpuff. And then we'll just worry about Alcremie later. I really want to heal up Mojo, though. We just haven't had a chance yet, but... There we go. At least we can count on Flash to be fast and take that thing out with a Volt Switching. And I suppose uh, we can just bring out Mojo then. Okay, Sent to Scorch level 30. Really got to go nickname you though. I'm missing the spiciness of the nickname Salsa. But I guess we still got the flair with uh, Mojo out here as the Dazzling Gleam is going to hit us both and a critical hit on Mojo. Oh my... No! Mojo! It's more like Nojo right now, and we're still in love, but we're going to be able to break through it and hit that flame wheel. No burn, though. Okay, uh, things are not looking too hot right now, guys. Not at all, but still got Flash out here, and he's been doing decent damage with the Volt Switch. I mean, I guess Flame Wheel probably does more, so who do we want to heal up right now? I think no one, actually. I think we should just go Volt Switch and then bring out Artorius as a sacrifice to then finally heal up, or well, I don't know actually, I guess Flash, I don't know what I'm doing, okay? I'm just bringing out Artorius because we got no other choice right now. As much as I want you to gain experience, I'm pretty sure it's going to go down right here. Sentis Scorch is barely hanging on for dear life though. I hope we can hit our Flame Wheel though, because I know we're still in love, so... Oh no! Uh, yeah, things are not looking good right now, guys. I feel like I'm going to have to double heal right now because Alcremi still has a lot of HP. If we can actually hit the flame wheel here, I'm pretty sure we win because the Volt Switch, I don't know if it'll take it out or maybe it will. Okay, well, uh, I did not think we were going to come out on top in that battle, but somehow we pulled through and we get so much experience. Holy moly, Flash, level 32 already. <laughs> I hope that battle was refreshing and smooth for you. Not at all, my guy. That was quite the opposite. That was a battle as refreshing as a glass of Moo Moo Milk. Here's the treat I promised. This better be good. We get an experienced Candy M. 
which of course will give your Pokemon experience, but this time it's a moderate amount apparently, so I guess it's not all bad. Uh, we can definitely use that whenever we need experience, you know, more urgently. And yeah, we didn't quite get uh, the sweet that I was hoping for, because there are multiple different sweets to evolve Alcremi. Like, you know, there's a bunch of different flavors, and I thought it was going to have to do with what region you catch Alcremi in, like America or Europe or the other countries. <laughs> but no, it actually has to do with the sweet that you give it and the way that you spin as well. Because yes, you literally have to spin to evolve Alcremi. I feel bad for saying this, but I just love watching Rehan lose to Leon. The way he shows his frustration is electrifying. I mean, I get what you're saying. I guess I do kind of like watching our rivals lose. Not necessarily Hop. I feel bad for that dude now. Like, we still haven't heard from him either. Or seen him, I guess. But before I forget, uh, we are definitely going to give Salsa his nickname back right now. All is right in the world now. Yes, it does indeed fit better. And we should check out the Pokemart as well because, uh, well, actually we still can't buy anything better than Super Potions. I don't know why. I feel like they should sell something that heals us up for more, but maybe this guy? Not quite, but he's got a couple different types of Pokeballs, I guess, so that's good to know. What about you? The BP shop. Uh, what is that? BP? Like gasoline? Or nope, it's, it's battle points. I wonder how we actually gain BP. Aside from, like, maybe the battle tower in the post-game. Spoilers! ZoMG! Actually, I don't even know if there is a battle tower, but I'm assuming because that's, like, the only thing that they've had in the post-game of the last couple of Pokemon games. Well, technically it was the battle tree in Alola, but, you know, it's still battle and then a word that starts with T. So, what's gonna be next? The battle train? Actually, they kind of did that in black and white, but... Yo, we get some Hyper Potions, finally! I've been told that Hammerlock's Gym Stadium is located right in the center of the Gala region. Oh, is the stadium actually at the very top? I think it has to be, right? Because they said there's a lift, and I know that there's a big crown thing at the very top of that castle, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be the stadium. A lot of people buy replicas of Leon's uniform, but nobody can wear it because the cape's too heavy. <laughs> hint, hint, wink, wink. I might be one of those people. Except I didn't buy mine, I got it drawn. Well, technically I paid for the drawing, but... I'm talking about my YouTube icon, okay? Why is there another Pokemon Center here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw a Sparkle over here, and it's going to be two X attacks, but whoa! What is this little garden going on over here? Okay, well, we can find a Muscle Band, which I think is for raising your EVs, but this is sick! There's actually a little battlefield right outside of what looks to be the Vault, as we see Ray Han standing right in front of it. What up, my guy? Oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see, what was your name again? Orange. Got it memorized. Ah, right, Orange. And if Leon himself recognizes your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same, though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Ray Han has to prove they're up to it by earning seven gym badges first. Well, yeah, we already knew that. So you're here to see our treasures, are ya? Gaining a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Follow me, why don't ya? Will do, Mr. Ray? Raihan? I'm pretty sure I keep mixing it up, even still. I'll even spell you one of my lead cards. Oh. A little early for that, don't you think, buddy? I mean, I'm glad we got it, though. Now, on you go. If it's the vault you want, it's up those stairs there. Yo, I'm digging Ray Han's outfit though. I wonder if we get to wear that uh, once we beat him. Well, actually, it's probably going to be the outfit that this girl's wearing. But hey, the shoes still look clean, man. I want those shoes. Or just any shoes that look better. I mean, I don't know. The ones we've got right now are pretty cool. Hiya! You need permission if you want to enter the vault. Okay. I just want a change of style, okay? And the boutique here in Hammerlock was a little disappointing, not going to lie. It did not have as much as I was hoping for, but... Let's check out the vault. Maybe they've got some nice outfits for us there. I highly doubt it, but hey, a boy can dream, right? And over here, we're going to find a TM for charm, which I thought was attract for a second. I'm like, no, I'm scarred by attract from that battle we just had with Al Creamy. But uh, no, it's charm, which uh, sharply lowers the opponent's attack, I think. No hidden items. So let's head into the vault. And whoa. 
What is going on here? Oh, you're here! Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there are still treasured tapestries that can tell us of Galar's history. These are some weird paintings, man. They look almost too real for a Pokemon game. The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs! The two bewildered youths! Whoa, that was weird the way it spun around. The youths looking on at the sword and shield that stopped the disaster. The youths being crowned. So that's the history of Galar, huh? These tapestries tell the story of the creation of a kingdom in Galar. The music, though. Okay. Say, young gym challenger, what sticks out to you most about them? Uh, there's two heroes? Bang on! The statue at that hotel in Motostoke only had one hero, no matter how you slice it. But here, we clearly have two youths. Hmm... Was there really only one hero, or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. I think I've got some theories now. I'm gonna research the tapestries a tad more, but you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you, so take a couple of these. I hope to see more of your wins. Sonia, Sonia, always with the gifts. Appreciate ya. But yeah, I have no idea about these tapestries or paintings or whatever. Yeah, they are called tapestries, uh, which show the youths looking on at the sword and shield that stopped the disaster. The only thing that's certain is obviously the sword and shield represent the legendary Pokemon. Like, it's not clearly not a literal sword and shield. Uh, but then apparently they get crowned and there's a bunch of like Corvus Squires flying around. Maybe the darkest day was just Corviknight mating season and the sky was dark because there was too many of them. We're going to have to wait to figure all this stuff out or just let Sonia figure it out for us. I mean, I'm just here to read the dialogue, you know? Anyway, I guess that does it for our little adventure in the vault. The tapestries in the vault depict heroes of the Gala region's past. I suppose if we've got any modern hero, it'd have to be our champion, Leon. Listen up, Orange. Your goal is to defeat that superstar, Leon. So go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to stow on side. What is Stowanside? That sounds like the weirdest town name ever. Oh, I forgot I already talked to that dude, but... Yeah, clearly we had permission to go in the vault. Uh, maybe he didn't, but wh what are you waving at? Are you headed to Stowanside, Gym Challenger? Everyone knows that Route 6 leads on to that good old town. Well, maybe not everyone, because I didn't know about that. Psst! Hey you! You heard the rumor? Uh... No? What? You haven't heard? There's a rumor that if you give the one you like an Applin, you'll be together forever. Actually, the truth is, there's someone I like. She's gonna move overseas pretty soon. I've been searching for an Applin so I can get my feelings across the right way, but I can't find one. If you've got an Applin, would you please give it to me? Uh, sure. Pretty sure I've got one. <laughs> wow, I did it! I finally got an Applin! Thank you, thank you so much! Since you went through the trouble of giving me an Applin, I've gotta tell her how I feel. You do that, buddy. Sorry I'm late. What was it that you needed to talk about so suddenly? I, uh, how's packing going? Pretty much everything's been packed. Since I'm moving away tomorrow... Yeah... Oh no, he's so sad. Hey, check out this Pokemon! <gasps> An Applin! Amazing! Did you catch it? Well... No, someone gave it to me. I'm sorry. I really wanted to give you an Applin that I caught on my own, but, well... Ah, uh, just forget it. I can't give you this Applin. You're right, I can't take it. Can't take what? Even if we're separated and far away from each other, I'll still be waiting for an Applin you caught yourself. Wait, do you mean... Um, I'll see you later. Wait, what does she mean? Like she's gonna be waiting for him, as in, to be in a relationship? Say, what do you think that was about just now? Do you think it meant that... Uh... Congratulations? Th thank you? Wait, does that mean what I think it means? She's pregnant? I'm so confused. Really? I can't believe it! Woohoo! Ah, uh, sorry. I just never thought that we both felt the same way. Right, well, I'd better give this Pokemon back to you. Okay, well... I thought he was gonna keep our Applin, but... 
take this too. Think of it as a reward for helping me take that first step. And we're gonna get ourselves a tart apple. A peculiar apple that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. I'm gonna catch an applin all by myself. And then someday, I'm gonna go give her that applin. You do that, man. I don't know why that sounds oddly... Uh, let's not talk about it. Thanks again, mate. See ya. Alright, well that was possibly the weirdest side quest I've ever seen. I still don't know what that girl meant. Like, is she gonna be waiting for him? Like a long distance thing? Or maybe she actually is pregnant? I... <laughs> Alright. Moves that only select Pokemon can learn. They're called battle combo moves. Do you want your Pokemon to learn one of them? Uh, sure. Is this like the grass pledge and fire pledge and all that? I'm assuming because... Yeah, uh, only the gr starter Pokemon can learn those, but it's not really as good unless you use it in a double battle with, you know, the water pledge though. So, I don't know, I think I'm gonna just keep Razor Leaf for now. With all that info in hand, I guess we're ready to head on to Stow on side, but there's one more thing I want to do before we end off this episode, and it is actually back at the wild area, so let's head back out there and see what we can find. Oh jeez, there's a heavy snowstorm going on, oh my. Okay, well, maybe it won't be as easy as I thought to find the items that I was thinking of, uh, because there's a small section over here that I don't think we quite explored in the last episode. Uh, so to end off this one, before we head off to Stow on side, as we see a Gorgeist actually pop up there, um, let's head over here and, well yeah, see what we can find. Hey there, I found a bit of a red item here in the wild area. Yes, only a hundred watts for some EXP candies. Oh me, oh my. Don't you love when you get free stuff? I sure do. Speaking of free stuff, uh, I was actually doing a giveaway on my Twitter, and I think I'm going to be doing one on my Instagram now. So if you guys would like a chance to win a copy of Pokemon Sword or Shield and a limited edition Nintendo Switch Lite Sword and Shield version, uh, go check out my Instagram. I'll be posting the giveaway today. But over here, we've got a large leak which is exactly what happened before the games were released. Uh, one of the many ingredients for your camp, whether this is the kind of vegetable stock that farfetch like is unknown. Well, it definitely looks like one. I mean, I can't really tell, but man, the weather is going all over the place here. Like, we were literally just in a snowstorm, and somehow now we're in a sandstorm, and somehow now it's completely gone. Okay. Well, that's very interesting. Um... Pretty sure I just heard a Scraggy there too. Or was that a different Pokemon? I can't focus, man. The wild area, there's so much to do that I just can't focus for some reason. But uh, what the heck was that Pokemon that just popped up there? Well, not the Gyarados, but this little thing right here. Um, let's check it out. As we've got a strong looking Orbital. Actually, a very strong looking one. So what level is this thing that we're gonna be at? 41, geez Louise. Of course I'm not going to be able to escape. And it's got Psychic too. Oh gosh. I'm so sorry, Artorius. Why did I think I could take this thing on? I don't know, man. I mean, it didn't look that tough. It's a little ladybug? Why did I forget the name of that bug? I mean, I guess because it kind of looks like a beetle too. Or its name has beetle in it. But it's kind of like both. A beetle, ladybug, psychic thing. But yeah, this is what I was looking for, the Dawnstone, which of course can evolve certain types of Pokemon, including, but not limited to, one of my favorite Pokemon, Gallade. But I think someone told me that depending on the way that the berry tree is shaking, you can actually tell whether it's going to be a Pokemon or more berries. And yeah, it's looking pretty violent right now, so I'm not going to risk it. We're going to stop shaking it right there and just kind of head on through here. There's one last item that I want to get here. And I gotta stop getting so distracted by all of these uh, dens and watts and all that because we're heading off to the stormy wilderness where there's actually a sandstorm going and I thought that Tranquil was like one of the Super Saiyan kinds or the, what's it called? Bright Pokemon? Brilliant? Something like that? Oh geez. What is going on with these weather effects, dude? It's like one second there's a storm, then suddenly a sandstorm and hail now. I. I mean, I guess regardless, it's a storm, but just all sorts of different types of storms. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there's one more uh, elemental rock that we can find in this area. But because of the snowstorm right now, I can't really tell 
where it's supposed to be. Uh, I think it's somewhere around here, actually, but... Is that a Mawile? What the heck? I didn't know Mawile made it into these games. Oh, snap. Oh, dude, there's another one right there. Okay. Well, I don't really feel like catching one right now. Uh, what I want to do is go around this rock right here. And, yep, there it is. That little crevice. We will find the Sunstone, which I believe wraps up all of the stones that we can find here in the wild area. Uh, aside from maybe Dust Stone? I mean, if there is all of them in here, I don't know. Thankfully, it actually let us run for once. Uh, but yeah, we found a Fire, Water, Thunder, Dawn, Moon, and Sunstone. Uh, so I think the only one missing would be the Dust Stone at this point. And I'm not sure if there is one in the wild area. There might be, but for now, I think we're good on exploring. But I do see a light up ahead. And I haven't really done that many max raid battles. Um, especially last episode, because I actually tried to do the online functions and it did not go well. So I kind of gave up and went back to local. What the heck Pokemon is that? It's electric poison. What? Does that mean it's the little baby? Because if so, I kind of want to catch one. But we don't have any Pokemon with ground moves. Um, let me see actually, because I'm pretty sure we did get a TM for Bulldoze. Uh, so we just got to teach that to someone. Either way, I haven't been able to figure out still how to play with others online. But I don't care. I'm just going to do it with the NPCs. They haven't failed us yet. And hopefully they still <laughs> don't. As we do have the Dynamax Toxel. Look at that giant baby rager. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. But also terrifying. Alright, hopefully the Dynamax energy is enough to carry us through this as the Bulldoze will turn into Max Quake, and that's going to be four times super effective. So, if that's not enough to take it down, then I don't know what will, but Giant Pokeball, go! And Charlie will become Humongosaur once again. My name is Jeff. That's right, let out all that aggression, Charlie. We got this, my gal. I feel like we should one-shot it with the Max Quake, but... I guess we'll see as uh, Clefairy goes for the clap clap, but not helping us out. Why not? Come on. You should be clapping for Charlie, not anyone else. Because this Max Quake will be devastating. And of course, it's going to destroy the Toxel. I mean, it's four times super effective. I figured that it was going to, you know, destroy it right there. But, oh, you can actually select different types of Pokeball. I don't know why I thought it was only regular Pokeball, but... Probably should have gone for something better then. Either way, we're going to get that in there and hopefully catch it as we have one giant shake, two giant shake, three giant shake, and a giant catch. Thank you for saying in there, Toxel. Appreciate that because it's a Pokemon that I've actually been wanting to catch for a while or basically since we got into the wild area. Uh, but it's only found during the thunderstorms or rainy weather. Unfortunately, we haven't had any of those, or at least I haven't seen any yet. But this one here is going to have plus special attack, minus special defense. I don't know. I think this Pokemon might actually be better with special attack, actually. So this could be a really good Toxel to add on to our team. So let me know what you guys think. There's also Hatina in our box right now. And I feel like switching up the team a little bit. So... Could definitely add that Toxel there. The only problem is it had the static ability, which on Toxel itself isn't too bad, but when it evolves, it becomes plus or minus, and those are kind of useless abilities in single battles. So I went over to the bridge field later that night, and it actually was raining, which means that Toxel can be found in the overworld if you look hard enough, because they're kind of hard to spot those little purple babies in the grass. But after searching for hours, I finally found one with the right ability. And it was actually by pure coincidence too, because I went for a bug bite on Salsa. And as you can see there, Toxel's Rattled activated, which is a new ability exclusive to this little baby Pokemon. And whenever it gets hit by a bug, ghost, or dark move, I think, its speed gets raised. So now the last step was just to choose the right Pokeball, which is, of course, the Premier Ball. I don't know why it's always been my favorite Pokeball, but as you can see, that didn't really work out. So 
20 Pokeballs later, I had no choice but to use my only Ultra Ball, which I actually found not that long before in the wild area. And yeah, this thing actually wasted all my Heal Balls, all my Premier Balls, so I had no choice but to toss my best Pokeball at it. But finally, we caught the Toxel. Kind of fitting too, because the Ultra Ball color matches Boltund. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. But I had a hunch that this Toxel was gonna be it, regardless of what nature it had. I was so tired of looking around and only finding ones with static, so I went and nicknamed it Violet. And when I went to check it out, it actually has a modest nature, which isn't too bad on it. Raises special attack, lowers attack. I think the special moves it learns are much better, so that is finally going to do it for this episode. And in the next one, we will head off to Stow on side and hopefully take on the next gym. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. <laughs>